Hello everyone and welcome back to Antique and Garden Showcase. Glad to have you back here today. I'm actually working on site for the auction uh, this week and it's been a busy week. We're trying to get the last house in before uh, Christmas time. So I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about uh, uranium glass and what to look for and how to test for it. So I'm going to show you one piece that I found as we're going through this home that I think will be interesting for you. With a lot of us being garden item collectors and antique collectors and, and just, you know, enjoying those sorts of things, this is a neat uh, comparison right here. I have two different flower frogs, this one and this one. Both have a lot of similarities in the fact that they have kind of like a stripey look to them, you know, from the flower frog holder itself where the flowers go in. But this green one is very unique in that it is older uranium glass and you might be able to tell it just by looking at it here but uh, some of you all if you're antique shopping and uranium glass is something you're looking for there's one tool that you need to have with you and that is a black light and of course it has that kind of weird purplish bluish glowy light like that and it will detect not only uranium but it's also good to have if you're a, a china collector or things it will show up um, repairs, imperfections, uh, things that have been glued together, cracks, it, it kind of, it acts like a highlighter almost for pieces. So handy tool to keep in your pocket. We keep one around as we are uh, looking through these homes and things here. So I'm going to show you what happens when we cut the lights and put the black light on these two pieces. So I have darkened the lights on this side. I've still got one on the other side just to give the camera a little bit of light. But if I put this black light on just the clear one. You can see it just kind of reflects. You get a reflection of the blue. Not a lot going on there. All right, so let's switch and put what is known to be the uranium on there. Now watch how this reacts differently. You see the whole piece start to glow there? You get that nice green glow. That is uranium glass, and black light reflects it. So this whole piece looks like it's just glowing really beautifully green now. So a lot of times when you go into shops, you'll see people who have uh, cases set up with uranium glass and they'll actually have black light bulbs in the cases to have everything glowing to show that it is made with uranium. And it's just trace amounts, but it's in the, it makes a big difference when you turn that off, doesn't it? it looks completely different, look at that. Anyway, uranium glass just has trace elements of uranium in it. Uh, I was doing some studying on this the other day, and it said that there's really not enough in it to hurt you, not enough radioactivity. Uh, some people were worried about eating on uranium glass. They're like, you know, for the short time you're going to be eating on it, it's not dangerous to your health anyway. But yeah, you compare the two, you can see the minute you turn the light on, that one reflects, and then you don't get anything here with the clear glass. So I know this is kind of a short video for today. I wanted to share a little bit about uranium glass. In fact, I am very busy trying to get this week done. We want this auction over with so we can all have a little bit of a break and, you know, enjoy the holidays. It's coming up. Um, but uh, this is my little snippet for the week for Antique and Garden Showcase. Hope everybody's having a great holiday season so far. And I'll see you in the next one next Saturday. Bye.